Hello, Dizzy Nuts, and welcome back to uh, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. When we left off, we had helped out. Uh, um, uh, we had helped out. What was his name? Ryoko? Or something like that? Um, I remember an R and a Y. And a K. Anyway, so we helped him out, and we accepted a case to go help out the local government with a door that won't open. So. We have to go down to... Okay, that looks weird. Well, this is definitely giving off a creepy vibe to me. Alright. Let's see. Uh, that must be the door that won't open. Did you arrive at the underpass? The gate we need to unlock is inside. The control panel should be beside you. Do you see it? Connect, jump into it, and lock the gate. All right, well, that seems simple enough. Hmm? What happened? What? Connect jump isn't working? That's strange. It's an electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside it. Perhaps it's just that you didn't activate the uh, connect jump properly. Right, I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a connect jump. What? Raise your hand. Now concentrate. Now what? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 30 minutes later. One hour later. Oh, Jesus. Dude, how is your arm not tired? Oh, dear lord. Several hours later. You're just standing there with your arm stretched out the entire time? How is your... What were you doing just now? Whatever you're doing, it seems like it's not working. Oh! That was weird. Oh no, it looks like I can't verify it. Well, it seems that you can only connect jump if you feel disappointed. What? If I were to... What? If I were to posit a theory as to how your connect jump works, your ability locates a digital wave, piggybacks onto it, piggybacks on it to the target's location, tar ugh, to the target location's digital space, and then enters it. It can be a network, a PC server, it doesn't matter what the target location is. If it has a digital space, then you should be able to access it. However, there seem to be certain limitations when interfering with the digital wave. Uh, in other words, when you can, you can, and when you can't, you can't. Uh, what we've determined is that you connected before by chance, even if there are specific reasons why you were un why you were able to each time. Put simply, ca cause and effect are connected to digital waves. Wait a second, how could you connect jump this time then? I don't have any proof to support my answer, but perhaps there were others like you who tried and failed to open the lock and were disappointed. Yes, disappointment is definitely key. I've rambled on long enough. Thank you. Please get this lock open as quickly as you can. God dang, like, I, I'm the one that can connect jump, not you, so, you know, don't try and tell me how I do my job. I don't tell you how to do your job. <laughs> You know, don't be rude. <laughs> God damn. It's like, I feel kind of bad for this, because they're all such low levels. What's up with this? Alright, let's uh, head on in there, I guess. What is that? I guess I'll find out in a second. Um, copy and paste. Alright, copies the target's color data and temporarily saves it by pasting on a colorless base. When correctly placed, the security will be dropped and you will be able to continue. Movement to a different area will clear any copy data. Okay. 
Let's copy and paste. Alright, now we need to find that, um, colorless base. There it is. The door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. What's over here? Nothing. Okay. Hey! Ah. Oh, okay. I thought they were. I thought they were getting the first attack. Oh. Oh, you survived. Good for you. You were a toughie. All right. Let's get on out of here. Well, there's like some sort of big Digimon in the way now. Won't let me escape. Something like that. That'd be cool. Well, that was easy enough. Whoa. Uh oh. Huh. That's weird. It seems you've managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must have been easy for you, given your skill. What? There's a bit of labyrinth in the underground tunnel? What do you mean by a bit? Is there any sign of Digimon or an eater in there? I see. It is strange to see just a small section of labyrinth. <laughs> I know I said we couldn't know what we could find, but I wasn't expecting that. I believe we have witnessed a special digital wave occurrence. It's as if it's some kind of current. I see. This is definitely a... A, a lee line? Is that... A ley line? I don't know what that means. Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are many in Tokyo. Uh, they are also called dragon chains. Dragon signifies the... Uh, undulating undulating landscape the hills and mountains the dragon chain is what we call the flow of the land spirit uh it's well known that uh susui tenkai advisor to uh Leisu oh god damn it um Tokuga tokugawa turned Edo into a great feng shui city God damn, I can't talk at all this episode. It is said that he built an, un, a waterway and path to lead the chi from Mount Fuji and Tokyo Bay to Edo Castle. Of particular note in this instance are Kaniji and Asakusa Shrine to the northeast of uh, Zojiji and Hiei Shrine to the southwest, all big religious institutions. In feng shui, uh, those directions are thought to draw negative energy their way. The shrines hold big festivals to purge and expel that en energy. And if you look at the lines that connect uh, Buddhist temples, Kaniji and Kojiji, Kojoji, and Shinto shrines, uh, Asakusa and Hiei, you'll find they cross right inside Old Edo Castle, home of today's Tokyo Imperial, Imperial Palace. It's really quite fascinating to see. Nowadays, the waterways have been sw uh, swapped out for rail lines, and radio towers dot the northeast and southwest. You could say we finished what Ten Tenkai started. 
viewed from the eyes of current society, those rail lines and radio towers are artificial ley lines that supplement the old roads and waterways. Naturally, uh, where you're standing underground constitutes another ley line running through Tokyo, too. Not just any ley line, either. The one that's believed to emanate from Mount Fuji is supposed to run right through there. The man-made tunnel layered on top of it allows the digital waves to keep flowing in perpet perpetuity. In perpetuity, it's really a particular thing going on down there. Uh, that's what producing this uh, quasi labyrinth you're seeing before you. Knowing that, those weird voices that people are supposedly hearing probably belong to Digimon that are appearing as a result. I could go on for a while, please don't, yet about this subject, uh, but you at least somewhat get what I'm saying, right? Yes, not at all. <laughs> I'll take what you mean, I'll take that to mean you understand it well enough then. At this point, your work is essentially done, but we can't exactly just ignore this newfound discovery of yours, either. Why don't you go a little further in and check things out for me? Alright, I still have a few minutes for the video, so let's go and answer these lines. Um, let's see, there's a... Uh, there's a sort of track... Uh, that's probably true, that's a great guess, I'm impressed. Uh, Alright, so that thing's done. What's over here? Oh, just nowhere. Weird. It's about now that I wish I had the ability to turn the camera again. Because I don't know which way I want to go. Am I able to open this door at all? No? Okay. Well then, I guess I will just have to take the long way to it. Or what we'll find down here. Aren't there usually Digimon in the labyrinths? The tunnel just keeps on going, you say. If it stays on course like that, you're going to end up in uh, Rapongi, which would mean... Hmm. You know, this reminds me of something else I've heard about before. God damn it. As I mentioned before, Tokyo's ley line stem from Mount Fuji, which is, of course, not all that a coincidence given that it's a sac sacred place. And that energy takes old highways like the uh, Kosho Kato and the Tokedo to get to Tokyo from Mount Fuji. That energy joins up with underground rail waterways going along the highway that carry Mount Fuji's snow melt to Tokyo following into the city together. One theory holds that the first place where that water appears above ground after reaching Tokyo happens to be where else eh, happens to be where else but Nakano. Put simply, all the ley lines that flow throughout Tokyo could well be coming out of your own stomping grounds, believe it or not. Wouldn't that be amazing to think about if it turned out to be true? I'm not really sure what I just read, to be honest. I was kind of too focused on trying to get the words all out. Stop right there, don't go any farther. You're standing at the border of the m municipality. Go any farther and you'll be in the central government territory. That's a hive we'd best not poke. Color me intrigued, though. That's a hell of a thing to stumble into just walking around inside that tunnel. We aren't prepared just yet to pick that sort of fight. There's still too much we don't know. This little stagnant of ours has gone on long enough, I think. And tangent of ours has gone on long enough, I think. Head back the way you came and regroup at the office. Alright, well, anyways, that box on the other side of those bars tell me that we are going to be coming here again at some point in the future. Though it's not as strong as we're used to, that tunnel is causing a digital shift. We should probably keep it locked up, uh, like before after all. We have no idea how I'm- I have no idea how I'm going to explain all of this to our client. No matter how you spin it, it's probably- 
it'll probably all be a lot to take in. I wouldn't be surprised if we came away looking even sketchier than we already do. Eh, let's just let Detective Matayoshi deal with it. Some jobs are just best left to others. Hmm? You're curious what exactly was actually beyond where you stopped? That makes two of us. Believe me, actually, while you were on your way back, I decided to look into it a little bit. Apparently, what you found was a Kamashiro research lab, of all things. Oh, don't be dense. I told you, that area is under the jurisdiction of the central government. That's not the sort of place you wander into for fun. If nothing else, it indicates that Kamashiro and the government have a tighter relationship than what we previously suspected. Going after Kamashiro could well mean that we'd also be ruffling the government's feathers. Hmm. That's why we can't be hasty right now. We'll do what we can to prepare and cross that bridge when we come to it. This is just a guess on my end, but I imagine it was Kamashiro that changed the password on that door and rendered it impossible to get open. They, pos they probably weren't counting on us being able to actually break in and snoop around. Knowing that, it could well serve as our ace in our hole, our ace in hole f, our ace in hole later, when the time does come to confront them. Hopefully, eh, unaware. But again, let's not worry about uh, hashing out the details until we have to, and be grateful we have that up our sleeve if need be. On that note, I realize this case isn't technically closed, but what do you say about heading over to Rapanji for me one more time? I don't mean on official business. Rather, I'm keen on doing a little independent intelligence gathering of our own uh, internal use. Surely you're interested in knowing why Kamashiro was, has built a research lab underneath the Tokyo uh, Metropolitan Government Building too, right? How, uh, so how about you just walk on through the front door there and see what you can find? Sound good? Alright, so we will go and take on that later on. But until then, please, please like and favorite, please share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe on Unreal. This is Starbolf of Starbolf Games, signing off.